P.S. My hair looks like actual crap, so don't judge me. I told the lady to not cut it this short. You know what she does? <laughs> she cuts it this short. Well, I mean, I agree that it looks like crap, but the length isn't the problem. It's the fact that his hair is so white and his face is so orange that he literally looks like a giant candy corn. Ice cold diamonds on my neck. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph and you guys. So do you remember a few months ago when I made a video on that cheeto face Donald Trump looking ass guy named Sebastian Bales? Well, if you don't know who he is, then here's some clips where he insults random strangers. Why did you wear the checkers? It usually makes people look fatter. Like, it looks like straight up trash. By the looks of your outfit, it's kind of basic. Like, aren't you guys prostitutes? I was just wondering. Yeah, so as you can tell, He's not the nicest guy. And not only is he a complete dick, but he's also a bit of a creep. This annoying orange evaded his Amy Schumer smurf looking ass girlfriend's privacy by making a 20 minute long video where he puts on a disguise and, well, stalks her. Literally following the location on the map of where it says her location is. Those are diapers. Those are diapers. She was oh looking at diapers. Ew. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so nasty. Yeah, so now that you know a little bit about the type of person this dude really is, let's get into the topic of the video. So I've seen some 24 hour challenge videos and some of them, well, they're actually kind of cool. For example, Mr. B's 24 hours underwater challenge was really interesting to watch. But then there's Sebastian Balls, or sorry, I, I meant Bales. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went homeless for 24 hours. How much money did I make? Yeah, so apparently pretending to be homeless to see how much money you can make in 24 hours is a challenge. So without further ado, let's get into this video, but be sure to leave a like in the next five seconds or else Sebastian Balls will lick your balls. What's up everyone? It's Sebastian Bales back at it again with another YouTube video. <laughs> I'm going to be literally, literally going homeless for 24 hours. We're going to see how much money I make. It's going to be fun. Fun? Okay, let me get this straight. Buddy's going homeless for 24 hours to scam people into giving them their hardworking money because he thinks it's fun? Yeah, right. Come on, man. Give me a break. Go do something else with your life. Go play football, hockey, I don't know, baseball, cricket for all I care. Ping pong. I don't know about you, but I see homeless people all the time, especially in LA. It's becoming kind of a big problem. Statistics. The amount of how many homeless people in the United States is literally going up by the thousands each year. Okay, first of all, if you think that there's only 2,600 homeless people in a country of over 300 million people, then um, you're dumb. And second of all, um, you're dumb because that chart is only going up by a few hundred each year. Not a thousand. I mean, let's be real. The guy doesn't look like the sharpest tool in the shed. He looks like a male version of the plastics from Mean Girls. And it's kind of scary. Like, why is it every year that there's more and more homeless people? Is it because, like, literally being homeless makes you a lot of money? What if it's the unknown little secret that all these homeless people are literally tricking us into persuading us to give them all of our money? Are you fucking dumb? All right, well, we already clarified that earlier because you clearly can't count. But are you seriously saying that all the starving homeless people who sleep on the street have to suffer in extremely cold, hot weather are faking it? No, no, they're, they're not faking. I mean, definitely there could be a few people who are faking it, but the majority of homeless people are actually homeless. So I'm going to be taking that to the test and going undercover, pretending to be a homeless teenager for 24 hours, and we're gonna see how much money I make. I might be quitting social media, and I might be a homeless person for the rest of my life. Yep, the man just said it himself. Like, usually I'm the one who makes people look bad, but Buddy just exposed himself. Honestly, it makes me sick that this guy is treating poverty like an absolute joke. We get it, you live in LA, you have a spray tan, and you have money, but you don't need to shit on those who don't. P.S. My hair looks like actual crap, so don't judge me, please. It looks so bad. I told the lady to not cut it this short. You know what she does? <laughs> she cuts it this short. And I freaking hate it. I actually hate it. Well, I mean, I agree that it looks like crap, but the length isn't the problem. It's the fact that his hair is so white and his face is so orange that he literally looks like a giant candy corn. So clearly, as you guys can see, I'm not homeless whatsoever. Um, I pay way too much to be living in LA. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, I do not look homeless and we've got to make me look homeless. So I'm going to invite one of my friends over who's really good at makeup and styling and she is going to, you know, transform me into a homeless person. Makeup, outfits, literally everything you can think of of a homeless person. That's what she's going to do to me. Oh my God. First, this guy talks about how homelessness in the United States is an issue. And then he goes on to treating it as if he's dressing up for Halloween. Like, did you guys listen to what he said? He's transforming himself by putting on a costume and doing his makeup. I think this guy fails to understand that people actually are homeless and they don't choose to live this way. They don't have enough money to be affording, you know, proper clothes, makeup, all of that. Okay, so I'm here with... So I just made it out to the wilderness. So for our outfit today, we have a rescue t-shirt, some gray sweatpants. We have some gross, disgusting shoes with who's know what on it. We are going to splatter this with ketchup and coffee and dirt to make it look really disgusting and to make me look homeless. Is it just me or do you guys see the amount of disrespect that this guy is showing towards homeless people? It's disgusting. Doing his makeup to make him look beat and tired, throwing ketchup, coffee, and dirt onto his clothes to make himself look as hideous as possible. It's just disgusting to see a YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers who should be an influencer, mock people who are actually going through these issues and probably face a lot of anxiety over their appearance. Do you honestly think that homeless people choose to look the way that they do? No, 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 they don't. They're more worried about the bigger priorities such as food and water so they don't starve to death. Okay, so I'm clearly Homeless. <laughs> oh my god, it tastes like Starbucks. Why did you do it again? I, I, I don't get it. Like, how, how does anyone find this shit funny? Like this dude literally looks like a complete idiot rolling around on the grass. Like I... Oh my God. It's gonna be, you know, shaking around for me to be asking for money. And I don't have a cup, so we have to go in the trash can. So this is, a, this is our shopping. Let's see how much money we're gonna make. I like your new friend, the trash can. Ma'am, yeah. do you have any spare change? No, get a job. Did that just happen? Oh my God. <laughs> she really just kicked my can. <laughs> my like four cents I had. Look. I don't know if you're trying to be funny or you think you're sending a message because you aren't. Oh my God, I've, I've never seen anything faker than this. Really, really, like you expect me to believe that that was in plan when the girl's literally a meter away from you holding a camera. Like you couldn't have made it any more obvious that you're shooting a YouTube video. All that has happened so far is you mocking the lives of homeless people and cracking jokes. And to be honest with you, it's very offensive. Like him laughing, getting people to purposely put stuff on him, making himself purposely look bad. It, it's, it doesn't show awareness at all. Here I am at Hollywood Boulevard and I'm going to see how much money we can make at Hollywood Boulevard being homeless. Let's see if we can eat because I'm honestly super starving and it's way later in the day and I need to eat. So let's go. Oh my God. See here? claim to have spread awareness when he's literally tricking these innocent pedestrians into giving him money because his AdSense has been too low lately. We get it, dude. You're too cheap to buy dinner with your own money. You know, if you're gonna be that big of a prick and pretend to be homeless so you get the money, not a real homeless person, at least donate the money to some type of charity so you know something can be done to help these people out instead of using the money just to buy yourself some dinner. Excuse me, do you have any spare change? No spare change? No. Your hair is really pretty though. I like your guys' outfits. It can't get any more fake than this. This dude literally expects people to believe that he's homeless when he is literally holding an iPhone recording in front of them. Like he, he couldn't have made it any more obvious that he's vlogging right now and that this whole thing is fake. Look, okay, I, I would never suggest making a video faking that you're homeless, but if you choose to do so for whatever odd reason, at least make it believable. Thank you. What? Yes! Oh my god. Yes! A bitch gets what a bitch deserves. Okay, I just want to leave, to be honest. I just want to leave. I just feel like I just don't feel good right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure that all the people who are actually homeless wish that they could leave too. But you know what, Sebastian? They can't. Not everyone can afford a fake spray tan. Not everyone can afford contact. 
Oh, yeah, you guys didn't know that's what he actually looks like. This guy is making fun of homeless people's appearance. Meanwhile, he was the one who was very insecure about himself. He had to change his hair color, his skin color, and his eye color. Yeah, don't you guys find it very hypocritical that this guy is making fun of homeless people's appearances? Meanwhile, he's the one who's very insecure about himself and has to change his eye color, his skin color, his hair color, and even got lip ejections. And who knows what else more? Well, if you think the video couldn't get any worse, then well, you're wrong because then he gets recognized by his fans on the street and well, takes their money. Then this is the part where my real identity gets found and fans start recognizing me. <laughs> okay. One, two, Quick question, do you have any spare change? <laughs> Wait, you actually have a spare change? <laughs> Is this what YouTube has really come to nowadays? These YouTubers who are supposed to be influencers toward these young people, manipulating them into taking their money. It's, it's, it's just a very sad thing to do. <coughs> what in fuck's name are you doing? Oh! So because of how everything went down, I generally want to donate actually 10% of this money back to like the homeless shelters and to homeless people in general. This guy really thinks that he's making a change, but he's not. Sebastian Bale, a YouTuber, TikToker, Instagrammer, whatever you name it, who lives in LA is using 10% of the money earned on that video to donate towards homeless people. When you think about it, he's actually donating absolutely nothing. On average, you could say that about a thousand views gives you $1. That video has about 800,000 views. So to give about 10% of that money to homeless people, he's only about 80 bucks, which is absolutely nothing. If he's able to afford lip injections, spray tan, living in LA. So if you guys wanna see that go down, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. It's Sebastian Bills, if you guys don't know. And on top of that, he's making everyone follow him on Instagram where he's gonna be posting a video or picture something of him donating money to homeless people, which is, it's all for attention. Cause if you really care about these people, you would just donate. You don't necessarily have to say, follow me on Instagram, you know, fake being homeless in a video, just to spread the message you were trying to get across, whatever the message was, because message wasn't really good you didn't have a good thesis so your english mark would be an f f double f triple f it's really just sad to see these types of influence who claim to you know be making a difference but they're not they're, they're just doing it for attention anyway guys that's gonna do it for this video and i really hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already uh what are your thoughts on this let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think on sebastian bales do you guys think of this guy is purely just doing it for attention and the video that he made was absolutely just disgusting and just just wrong but guys make sure to go follow my social media my instagram is ivan step official my snapchat is shock underscore u09 and my twitter is ivan step if you didn't catch that i'll leave a pinned comment with all my social media it's also gonna be in the description box below but anyway that's gonna do it for this video so until next time it's been ivan step yeah, yeah.